can with that intro out of the way hello guys welcome i hope that your day has been good i hope that your rng has been good and i hope all in all that things have just been going well and welcome back to another black desert video uh, as you can see i made some gains again um last week i didn't upload i do apologize for that it was due to the fact that i had a uh, little bit of a issue regarding headaches so i went a bit earlier than usual etc etc and just didn't get around to really getting anything done in terms of recording so that's the reason for that uh but here we go got this done and this video is to compare succession line to awakening line uh this is not on new stats i actually recorded this uh, what you're seeing now is the no on Monday. Uh, I bought my no, my pen over on Tuesday. So this is on my normal awake not awakening succession stats of Katoom before I even got the one extra AP. Um, what I'll do is of course I'll redo this grind with uh, my new stats and see how I pull there. But what I heard from the comments was. Somebody actually said that Succession still pulls more than Awakening on my previous Awakening uh, video in Sakurai that I didn't learn. And I found that interesting because of the fact that Succession just didn't feel as good to me anymore than Awakening did. And the numbers proves my theory. Maybe I'm just a very bad Succession player right now. And I'm just a lot better at Awakening. But... You can see even in the kill speed itself that it is lower than Awakening. Now that may be due to the fact that my Awakening AP is a lot more than my um, pre-Awakened AP. Awakening I have like 3 extra AP on it compared to my normal uh, AP. So what I'll do is of course once again I'll go through the results of this. Just show you guys uh, what I pulled here. And then what of this uh, I'll go back to Scryer. I'll try Awakening Succession again with the one extra AP I got from the user book. Maybe that helps my pre-awakened a little bit. And then I'll try to do a hour with my Nova as well. Uh, Nova is really high on stats right now. Uh, anything that I'm kind of missing is DP. Uh, but in terms of Nova AP and stuff like that, I'm 292 and uh, 289 I think, which is really high. Um, so I'll test that as well. I don't think it's going to be better than my Katoom. Uh, Katoom still seems to be, even though it's on Tate, it still seems to be a little bit better for grinding. But yeah, enough of the rambles. Let's get into the results of the video real quick. Okay, let me get my screenshot up here real quick as well. Uh, here we go. Okay, so Succession Lan in Sakrial, uh, 273 AP, which is why I'm saying maybe it's because of that. Uh, did one hour, I used a yellow loot scroll and a, uh, I think I used a 100% drop rate as well, so I got really unlucky. Um, but yeah, in terms of trash loot, I got 6,038, which is lower than my awakening. I'll show the awakening screenshot as well for reference after this one. Uh, 256 of the other trash loot, which is uh, from the statues and stuff like that. I got around about 76... Blackstones, which is not bad. Two fragments of angel creature, whatever it's called. I got one blackstone, black shard. I mean, two black magic crystals, one map, 19 gaffer stones, 32 dust, and 13 abyssal essence. So, trash loot is how you measure the Sakura money per hour, pretty much. Um, the orange is good there as well, in my opinion. But as you can see, I pulled a lot more than this screenshot that I'm going to show you guys in a second as well. So the screenshot is up on screen, my awakening one. Um, just for reference, of course, this is not a focus on it. But I just want to let you guys know how much better I did on awakening. Um, 6,470 trash loot, which is a lot more. Um, with Sakura trash being as you know, the value that it is, it is a lot more per hour. Of course, I killed a lot more as well because I got nearly a hundred black stones out of this hour. I got two red shots, fair enough, that's where a lot of the money came from. Uh, but I got five black magic crystals too, and 13 gaffer stones, 38 dust, and 24 abyssal essence. 
So overall, I did a lot better on my Awakening line than I did on my Succession. Um, I'm also tagged a Guardian. I'm working on getting her up and running. So I want to test Awakening Guardian and Succession Guardian at uh, Scry as well. While this tag event is still going on, I'm on defense about either Archer or Guardian, but I'll probably just stick to Guardian just since the fact that they she's so good at grinding. And uh, she's quite good in PvP now as well. So yeah, that is literally it. There's no other um, screenshot. I just did one hour of succession. Unfortunately, I didn't have the time to do more. And uh, hopefully in my next video, I'll have more solid results in terms of that. And have tested it more thoroughly. But just the moral of the story is right now, if your awakening AP is a lot higher than your normal AP, um, like free AP maybe um, it might be better just to try and grind on awakening rather than on succession and see how it is uh, but awakening does do a lot of serious damage but yeah other than that I hope that you guys enjoyed the video I really do appreciate you guys watching and taking the time out of your day to sit down and watch the video if you did find it any way shape or form entertaining educational maybe you learned something maybe you didn't maybe you knew awakening was better anyways regardless of the fact if it did distract you at least for a little bit please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe as well i really do appreciate you guys doing that and uh helps out a lot i've been having some good growth the last couple of uh, weeks so thank you again for that i hope orange is good to you I hope your night day and evening morning whatever it is is absolutely fantastic and I will see you all again in the next video. Peace out.